Hey guys, this is Mike, aka Bowling Kool Aid. Today, I want to tell you all a little bit about Xbox customer support. Now, I know everybody's down on Microsoft all the time. They're like, oh, it's this huge company, they don't care about people, blah blah. I've not had that experience. Every time I've ever had to call Microsoft support at 1 800 for my Xbox, every time I've called them for anything, major, minor, doesn't matter, they've always been super helpful, super friendly and it's never felt like I was putting somebody out or or wasting their time like you get with a lot of customer service representatives excellent help and my latest example is my Xbox One I came in one, one afternoon to play and I turned it on and nothing no lights nothing so I unplugged everything from it plugged it back in tried again nothing I was like oh man something you know what in the hell is going on here because I love playing video games and I was just like what so I looked online googled it up to see if there was any problem and there was a couple of people that had complained that their power bricks were messed up that they had messed up while they were playing or whatever so I was like alright so I called Xbox support explained to them the problem we troubleshot you know did a few things they said okay probably you're right let's go ahead and send in the power supply see if we can get it fixed and get it back to you it'll take about two weeks so I was like alright fantastic so I went got the power supply set it aside got another one on Amazon really cheap I figured well you know I'll try this one some people complain it was too loud when the power was on so I would just use it as a standby while my other one got fixed then I started doing a little more research online and I realized that the people that were saying that they had had that problem had gotten theirs back and it still wasn't working so I wasn't sure I was like man what's going on here well they when my other one got in from Amazon I hadn't sent mine to Xbox yet I decided to wait because I have prime, a prime membership with Amazon so it was free two day shipping so I just waited when it came in I plugged it up nothing it didn't work the when I plugged it in you could see the lights come on but once I plugged into the Xbox the light went out so I was like fantastic this is just great so I uh, unplugged it all called Xbox support back and told him I said hey listen I'm, I'm really sorry I had this work order in to service my power brick but it turns out that it's actually the console itself so they were really ha really happy to help me really really understanding they said hey listen just you're gonna have to send your box in it's gonna take six to eight weeks now if you have 549 or something like that dollars that we can put on hold we'll send you one immediately we'll send you another Xbox when yours gets fixed we'll send it back to you and you can put that one in the box and send it back to us and blah blah and that's a great system but you know I don't have six hundred dollars just laying around to set aside like that so I was like well I can't do that but I'll go ahead and send it to you and then Young send it back to me in six to eight weeks when it's ready they were like okay that's cool and so they did that they set it up gave me the work order they sent me the label I sent Megan out she got the um, the next day when I was at work she went ahead and mailed it off and it was on a Friday the next week like halfway through the week they sent me an email that said hey your Xbox is on its way back to you and I was like what <laughs> um, that's really fast that's not six to eight weeks uh, I guess I guess it wasn't the next week it was a little over a week so it was probably like the I guess it was the Tuesday of the second week because what happened was on Thursday I ended up calling Xbox back and saying hey listen um, y'all said that it was already sent out, oh, I'm sorry it was on Wednesday I called them and they said um, nothing had changed on the website the tracking number wasn't still wasn't coming up it was saying it wasn't sent yet so I called them and said hey listen I tried to track this it's not showing anything is there anything y'all tell me about where this is at because I don't want it to get lost or anything crazy like that and they said they looked it up and once again this guy was really helpful uh, I wish I could remember his name because I would tell y'all he was super friendly super on top of it and he said well listen here's the deal he goes they're, they're being shipped they haven't come back across the border yet because what happens is you send it down to Laredo Texas and they send it to the actual factory to get fixed which is in Mexico and he said the tracking number won't kick in until it comes across the border and he said but looking at my records it shows that you should definitely get it on Friday now if I got it back on Friday that would be exactly two weeks from the day I sent it to him instead of six to eight weeks 
So, of course, I was excited. I was happy. Got home on Friday, and it was here. It had come in, and I was like, man, this is fantastic. All right, now, if that was the end of my whole customer service situation, that would have been perfect. They were super friendly, super on top of it. They knew the problem. Even though it's not a widespread problem, I've looked on the Internet. Not a lot of people complain about it. It's no red ring of death. Simply, anytime you buy an electronic, you take the risk that something in that electronic is going to fail. And that's what happened here. So, but they were right on top of it really quick to help me out. I did get it back on that Friday, so it was two weeks instead of six or eight weeks like they had said originally. And I was extremely happy with the service. But that's not where it ended. Then on Monday, the same guy that I talked to that Wednesday before called me on my phone and said, Hey, this is, uh, gosh, I cannot remember his name. I want to say Cornelius, but it sounds like that's not right. So, anyway, he told me, he said, hey, listen, I just wanted to call and check and see if you got your Xbox back on time. He said, because if you didn't, then let's go in here and do some research. I said, no, man, it totally, it came in on Friday. I said, I'm, I'm extremely happy. Xbox support has been fantastic. And he was really happy. He was like, because, you know, Titanfall was coming out. And he was, he, he asked me about that. And if I was getting in and talked to me a little bit and he said you know that he was glad there hadn't been a lot of complaints but that he was glad they were able to help me out listen that that's an extra mile I mean just getting it back to me on time that's that's fantastic that's that's what you want when you have an issue like that but they not only made sure that it got back to me in a sh very short time and a very good timely manner but then they called to follow up and say hey listen we really care here's this huge heartless corporation but they called me back to make sure that I was satisfied with it being fixed and that it had gotten back to me on time, which is fantastic. So, definitely kudos for them. I mean, I know a lot of people are going to hate. That's what they do on the internet, man. That's that's what the internet's for, so people can get mad about things and rant and rave and, and be angry. The, the company really does stand by their product, and they really will help you out if there's a problem. I'll tell you this. Xbox 360 was the same way. When they did have the Red Ring of Death, yeah, it sucked for people that got it, and I had one system go down, I ended up buying another system that was an arcade at the time, if y'all know, it was really cheaper, and I went ahead and just got one of those, it all worked out perfectly, that one never failed on me, I ended up having it till the very, until I traded in when I got my Xbox One, but, uh, they were really quick though, to help people out and say, hey listen, we had a problem, this is the problem, we're fixing it, and we're fixing it for free, it's not going to be at your expense, it's going to be at our expense. Now, I'll tell you this, the same issue, when PlayStation 2's came out, they had a DRE issue, disc read error. You'd put your disc in there, couldn't read it. And this was on the bigger, the originals. Um, in fact, I had an original one. I went through seven during the lifetime of that console. I want to say nine, but two of them were for a different reason. Um, I ended up having nine PlayStation 2's over the lifetime of the console, but seven were faulty. And those ones that were faulty, at the end of the console life, I just quit even bothering with it. I took the console apart, took the screws out, opened up the top, and there was a little screw on the size of the laser that you could use. Glasses, if you know what glasses screwdrivers are, I'd use those to tinker with the laser, get it lined back up, put the disc in, it read fine. But when I called Sony, the original first time that it happened to me, I asked them if they could help me. And they wanted $174 and me send it to them. What? At the time, I don't remember, I think they were two ninety nine, one ninety nine, something like that. I'm not going to pay you a f you know, half or full amount of a console to get to fix what you sent me that was faulty. So already I was skeptical on them. Once I got into Xbox, saw how their customer support was, they're very responsive. I'm going to be an Xbox, if that's what you want to call it. I'm going to be an Xbox fan. And it's because... No matter how big the corporation is, no matter how money hungry they are, and blah blah blah, they care enough about their consumers that they're going to reach out to you. They're going to make sure that they fix the problems when it's their problem, if it's from their end, and then they're going to follow up. They don't have to. They didn't have to call me back. I was totally satisfied with the service I got. The fact that it was fixed, them calling me back, that was just a bonus. And that's just something I want to get out there. I just want to tell y'all. And if you do decide to get an Xbox One, hit me up. My tag is Bowling Kool Aid. I'll be happy to join, you know, add you as a friend. We can throw down on some Titanfall. 
I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I'm going to leave it on here and let you watch the rest of it. But I really love all you guys. I'm glad you're watching. Peace out.